Well, the doctor is in on a new study suggesting coffee could be the latest weapon against heart disease. Researchers say people who drink a moderate amount, that's three to five cups per day, actually have clearer arteries than those who do not. This is in addition to a number of other studies we've covered here on Happening Now, claiming coffee can help prevent everything from type 2 diabetes to MS. Let's talk about this with Dr. Suzanne Steinbaum. She's an attending cardiologist and director of women's heart health at Lenox Hill Hospital. All the more reason for women to pay attention to this with heart disease being the number one killer for women. What do you what do you think about this study and coffee as the new miracle drug? Well, I wouldn't go that far because we also know that there are studies that have shown that it can potentially increase the risk of heart disease. And I think we've all overdone the coffee, had palpitations and a little Absolutely. shaking. Absolutely. I look at the three to five cups and it's think I would be, you know, I would not be able to do my job. But. We, I, I know as women, we can only tolerate so much. So I, I hear a lot about palpitations. So there's a little caution here. But in this trial, what it showed is that drinking three to five cups a day, there's a decrease in calcium in the arteries. And we know that calcium is associated with plaque, which leads to heart disease. Why? Why does coffee seem to do this? Well, I have to say, here's the good things about coffee. There's a lot of antioxidants in coffee. And these antioxidants dilate arteries. They can decrease your blood pressure. And they're really wonderful. They can decrease inflammation. So on one level, it's a good thing. But we also know the flip side. If you drink too much coffee for you, you can get an increase in heart rate and an increase in blood pressure and an increase in heart disease. Which is something that we do not want. Absolutely. So what's the right balance? Because again, the, the, the study looked at three to five cups of coffee. Right. And when we've looked at some other studies that we've covered on Happening Now, it was an equal amount. It was saying, oh, you know, maybe even four cups of coffee is okay for you. So how do you know what's right? Well, I have to say this. You know yourself. If you're drinking two cups and you start shaking, I wouldn't recommend going to three or four. <laughs> but we do see that that three to five cups has really been shown to be beneficial. It, there's a study that shows this actually prevents the development of multiple sclerosis. The new guidelines that are coming out, the dietary guidelines, a nutrition panel to really make suggestions about these guidelines talked about coffee for the first time and that four now, we, cups we, we, might, were, we were joking yeah. a little bit i'm not a big coffee drinker but i do like a cappuccino john likes his coffee black do not even offer him hazelnut coffee because oh. it's a huge oh. problem we can't even go there we oh. can't even go there i mean can we be any at, at all specific i mean uh, because people drink a lot of different types of coffee if you're loading it with sugar and cream it, does yes. it cancel out that, the benefits that's called um a dessert. <laughs> We're not talking about that. What we see is a correlation. We're not saying drink this much coffee, it's going to prevent heart disease. We're seeing a correlation. So I will tell you that if you load your coffee with half and half or full fat milk, and tons of sugar. Maybe this isn't the well, exactly what we're talking about. It might make about. you feel better, but yeah, <laughs> but it's not good for your heart. It's good to have it to a reminder, a correlation, not exactly a cause and effect. Uh, Doctor, it's great to have you in the program. Thank you very much. Thank you.